What up, Peggy? How's it going? Oh, not too much, man. Just doing the review life. Finally got some office time. Thanks, I missed calling my bike out. Oh, yeah, dude, that sucks that you couldn't make it up yesterday, man. Yeah, fuck, wait, it was a rookie mistake. It's pretty old time. You missed out. Man, I, uh, where's your edit at, dude? I thought I was already watching it earlier, but it was on Muskoka Brillish channel. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you get for breaking trail for those guys, dude. Like. <laughs> Who knows, man? I was standing on top of that cliff watching all sorts of carnage happen below me. This Jaden kid, like, watered himself really bad. And uh, I'm, like, standing on top of my cliff getting ready to drop, and all of this happened right underneath my nose. It was <laughs> it was something else, man. What a show. Yeah, but, uh, no, I mean, I'm going to hammer this edit out. Make sure that you uh, click on my channel the next time you want to watch what I'm doing. guys we're uh, heading to Revelstoke today it's been a while since I've been out that way um, typically I go north of Kamloops but it looks like the snow has been pretty good John Jean's keen to get out Aggie's keen to get out and uh, Tim Gray's been bugging me so got me convinced we're gonna hit the road here now it's pretty early <laughs> how many monsters you had today not right? enough <laughs> I don't let uh, Riley fill up anymore because uh I forgot that my jerry can was already full and I was holding her out here talking and it was just I was like what the hell where's the water coming from and it was just gas everywhere <laughs> <laughs> got a good crew got Aggie in behind me my buddy Liam from Clearwater Zach's gonna come shoot some photos Tim Gray is gonna come shoot some video for CFR and uh, John Jean haven't seen him all year, so that'll be good times. Last time I seen John, we were, uh, we were surfing behind his boat, I think. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? I parked right beside a guy. He ended up actually owning a freestyle ramp that I sold to some other guys up in Alberta. That's pretty cool. That's uh, it's crazy how the universe works. I didn't know that that guy owned my ramp, or let alone knew me. You know. Shout out to Ford for making a cab big enough that you can get fully geared up in. I've been doing this all year. So comfortable in here, heat on, lots of leg room, knee braces, boots, gear, I'm ready to go. What's up, man? <laughs> I'm high idling the truck so that we can try and thaw out Aggie's bike, dude. We were out riding the other day and he blew a bunch of coolant out and we had to use creek water to top it off and he forgot to put more coolant back in. So now we've got more water than we do coolant, and now we got more rice than we do water. <laughs> so we're high idling the pickup truck and using my sled tarp to try and thaw the bike out so that we can at least get out. Bluebird though, yeah, looks sick. What's going on, man? We found this, found this sick little creek draw. We're gonna try and blast up. Tim's got the drone and Zach shooting photos.
dick in there. <laughs> I think it's fair to say, Brett, no matter how many times you've done big drops and, you know, as comfortable as you are on a sled, when you're looking off a ledge like this and it's 60, 80 feet down there, you can't help but be a little nervous. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't nervous, I'd be maybe a little bit concerned for my mental well-being. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> All right, we're just out here in sunny Revelstoke. It's been a while since I've been out here, so I figured I'd come and try and hit one of the old faithfuls, you know? Yeah, Pay a little well, homage to like Alfred and BJ Murray, Jeff Kyle. All those boys used to do these on like trailing arm sleds. So, <laughs> but uh, it's just good to get the nerves out of the way on the first one. I still always stress about this stuff a little bit, you know, on the drive, it kind of like builds up. Then you get here and you're like, oh, okay, it's, it's not that bad. But then you walk out to the edge of it and you're like, holy crap. <laughs> Dropping in five. Day. Yeah, it was boys. A good day. There was some carnage. Best day yeah. ever, honestly. Two, two little bits. Of I was firstly two. very stoked on my clip, but mostly stoked on watching Buddy go. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah.
I had bird's eye view, it was amazing. Oh, man. That was one of the scariest crashes I've seen in a while. Yeah, on like a big jump too. Yeah. But he kicked I it. don't know what was scarier, the crash or the like, just like the home run slide down the rocks. I on, thought his sled was going to go On take number two. Take, take number two is definitely scarier than take number one. <laughs> Sick day. Got to ride some really deep pow. Hit a really nice cliff in the uh, start of the day when the sun was out. And uh, got to shred with some homies. 